Hey, this is Aaron. And Blake, we're AB Data. Thanks for watching our Alteryx tool demonstration videos. In this video, we're taking a look at the Transpose tool in Alteryx. One of the great tools from the Transform category it allows us to pivot the data from a horizontal orientation to a vertical one. So great when working with wide data sets. There's a diagram we'll look at in the example canvas showing us the general movement, but essentially we'll indicate any key columns within our data table and any data columns that we'd like to be transposed from horizontal to vertical, resulting in two new fields called name and value. So we'll explore that relationship here with a simple example. In this data table, we have seven records. We've indicated the team leader as a key column. So you'll notice that team leader will exist in the same position and structure, and we'll have that data point repeated for each of our three months. And here Jan, Feb, and March show up as our name field indicating they used to be the field name. So we'll take a look at the example canvas av available for the transpose tool. Lots of great content here comparing it to the crosstab tool that we'll explore in another video. Uh, the diagram and description off to the right uh, that we briefly looked at earlier, showing the movement for each of our data fields into these new columns called name and value. Here our sample data set is a great example of data that likely that needs to be transposed. It's given to us in a very wide format. and We want to transform the data into a tall vertical data set. Just to take a look at the default configuration, I won't change anything. Notice that there are no key columns indicated and all of our data is thought of as a data column. So all 160 data points in that table have been reoriented under these two new fields called name and value. Now by modifying the configuration, and for this first example, we'll select the first four fields as key columns. Notice when we select something as a key column, it gets deselected as a data column. And the dynamic or unknown field at the bottom of our data column list is great when you're working with data that will change over time. So you may have a dynamic number of fields you're working with. So now that we've selected four key columns, the output has six fields, including the name and value of all the data points we transposed. Now in the second example, we'll transform the data in a slightly different way. Instead of looking at the monthly sales, this time we'll have only the product as a key field and the fields of category, age range, and monthly sales as our three data columns. So for each product, we now have three records indicating those three values. And because this is a mixture of text strings and numbers, Alteryx is going to revert this to a v-string data type, allowing both numbers and text. So in the first example, it was all numbers, and Alteryx converted that into an integer field type. And for our last example, we'll select the first three fields as our key columns. And this time, we will drop the average monthly sales as a data column. So we can also use this tool to drop unneeded fields as we are transforming our data tables. So in this case, each of the individual months, these are the data points we'd like to see as our value. And again, the name corresponds to what the field name used to be before we changed the shape. Thank you for learning with us today. Good luck on your Alteryx journey. For more information on custom training, managed service automations, and more, please visit our website at abdataconsulting.com.